affection, we abide near other humans side by side. But good intentions notwithstanding, we can't avoid misunderstanding. Though we branch from a common stem, most people think we're not like them. We look abroad for folks to fear, or easier, we find them here. We do not know our neighbor's habits, but they catch or eat their rabbits. <laughs> Are those married folks first cousins? Do they want one child or dozens? <laughs> the leader of our pleasant land has viewpoints both sublime and grand. He rules as philosopher king, assuming there is such a thing. <laughs> then comes on what good are philosophers at combating provocateurs. In fact, in comes I. They call me Sunny. My life is full of milk and honey. So this pleasant land is my true home. I've never seen a need to roam. And I per the joy is the point of life, I say. And I pursue joy every day. Is she here? <laughs> How happy all the world could be if everyone would live like me. Yeah. In comes I, Queen Hildebrand. Yeah. I fear my sweetheart is too grand. My dear, of course you love your life. You're well fed, you feel no strife. You're king, you're spoiled. That's an expected outcome for the well-connected. Now, I know that you have good brains, but your inaction's causing strain. Most folks don't have our advantage. They work hard and barely manage. Our citizens are full of fears and stress that haunts them through the years. Spoiled. Don't be a spoil sport. Uh, life is good. I mean, now I feel misunderstood. Oh. My job is thinking noble thoughts. <laughs> you see, now I'm doing what I ought. Thinking's good, but action's better. You've never been a real good getter. Declaring. <laughs> Transcendental week to keep our thinking muscles sleek. <laughs> our people need some real support. Ruling is an active sport. Uh -huh. <laughs> In comes I. <laughs> Bob the Knob, the Grand Vizier. <laughs> when trouble comes, I'm always near. No coincidence. <laughs> the Queen. She's in a mood today, and you're right. To meditate and play, to my mind, sets a fine example. It's wrong of her to try and trample on your goodwill. Continue smiling. Our pleasant leaders are beguiling. <laughs> this idiot is easy to lead. The perfect vehicle for my greed. Mm. Now, a king must be rise above the crowd. Never common, not too loud. A happy warrior is relatable. And charisma wins. That's not debatable. Oh, yes, well. Oh, St. George, over here. <laughs> ah, yes. You should meet my grand vizier. <laughs> George St. George is new in town, a TikTok star of great renown. Mm. Uh, they just moved here from Taco Bell, and uh, they advise King Saladin. I think you'll find St. George impressive. To me, their speech is too digressive. With random jumps into a topic, King Sunny finds them quite hypnotic, but I keep hearing contradictions and suspect they're spouting fictions. Oh. I see that you are of Greek extraction. That always gets a good reaction from the ladies. Obviously. Oh, Myself, I do prefer the Which is a question that does vex some people, but I know my taste. I never let a nice ass go to waste. <laughs> I could swear King George.
George told me. Tim George told me. Yes. Tim George told me that they were native-born bougie, and that their mom, like mine, got young, beset by inflamed miners' lungs. Oh, oh, wait, that cannot be. Their mom had mumps and eyes with cheeks as big, wide bumps. Uh, well, I know. Maybe she was sick and dead when the Turkish bombs fell on her head. <laughs> Perhaps they're thinking of their cousins. From their stories, they've had dozens. Every loss in epic passing. Airplane crashes, plague, and gassing. Oh. The people of their tribe have faced such bias. It's a wonder that they're still so pious. I think that we are the same. I think so are you play your game, or rather, a the king. I'm sure our motivations are quite pure. Let us walk and talk with the thoughts we can beguile away the time until a need arises and then we come to thee. I hear that you're a scholar. So am I. When I was at Oxford, I would fly straight from lectures to Cambridge Hall. They called me that damn know-it-all. <laughs> I'm jealous. What more is there to say? I've never earned a grade below an A. Never earned a grade. <laughs> but they were glad to lift a flag and when I flagon. Within our tribe, we think we can relax and take comfort in our shared facts. But predators in human skin find gain from pumping up our skin. They act virtuous and pious and then exploit our every bias. Without knowledge, we grow wary, and new people can seem scary. But treating strangers as enemies means we do as the wicked please. I think you're the one who knows the war. But one of two well-chosen wars could make us into billionaires and raise us far above all worldly cares. Oh, and then other things happen, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you know, while we're on the subject, this king, he's weak and greedy, full of pride. Better to mislead him than his guide. <laughs>
can promote this sacred cow. Granddad taught in the Great War. A hero just like those of yore. This jacket's from his uniform. I wear it proudly and set out to keep me warm. <laughs> and Grant's time, Nazis were the ones who threatened him with knives and guns. Now we face aliens from space. Could they destroy the human race? I face down dragons, now I'll fight to save you from this awful plight. A knight's armor reflects evil rage. <laughs> your minds can stay clear today. <laughs> Get your safety back right here. Protection from the evil sphere. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fear and anger are such great gifts. With this, we can put all kinds of grip. These fools will pay for silly props, like toilet paper tinfoil tops. Here's how we can all act today. Kickstart a nano laser way. We'll burn those aliens into toast and scatter them to make compost. Just a $50 pledge. Uh, you'll set the bad guy's teeth on edge. Uh, we'll send you all a handheld laser as powerful as a pocket taser. Where's the king? Now we're in danger. Why is he acting like a stranger? What else will the sweet king allow? We need to take strong action now. I can't believe my eyes. It's you. Can hear me, sire, before. 
before they light your funeral fire. Oh. And if you think fire is a bad idea, that means you're thinking. And QED, you're here. <laughs> you think, my lord, therefore you are. Here is done. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's alive, but that won't get us very far. <laughs> Problems that confront our nation, actions, but no contemplation. What demon haunts our town today? Bring your minutes here, this way. <laughs> Why, it's plain to see. It's just a prop. Well, we can fix that with a pop. <laughs> it's time for you to take some action. This balloon was a distraction. Uh, now that it has left the room, more important issues loom. Yes, yes. Well, I'm Many problems do arise when people can't tell truth from lies. Yeah. I will write memoranda warning against propaganda. Uh, first, though, let's drive out the traitors, this false content, truth creators. Those who whip up hate and fear are the worst of profiteers. Truth yeah. is beauty, they say smugly. You guys are both false and fugly! Oh. <laughs> Good people all, please hear my tale. My false advisors there have failed! Those liars only care for power. <sighs> They want you to spend every hour in serving them. Now let's yeah. serve truth, serve peace. Let's serve ourselves a mindful feast. Yeah. Feed your head. 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 Building basic trust between. Take your lying eyes and see. Our land will be both fair and free. Curses! Foiled again! <laughs> okay, solving problems means we must start by building basic trust between our citizens, our neighbors. progress every day and let's get started yeah. on this first of May